what if the LA Kings did a full rebuild in 2015? After winning two Stanley Cups in four years, the Kings missed the playoffs in the 2014-2015 season. The Kings were at a crossroad because they were a borderline playoff team and they had very little cap room. What the Kings should have done was done a full-on rebuild in 2015 so they could retool for the future. What if the Kings did a full rebuild in 2015? How would this impact the league? The only players that the Kings will keep on the roster are Drew Doughty, Anze Kopitar, Tyler Toffoli, and Martin Jones. The first player traded will be Mike Richards. The LA Kings trade Mike Richards and Jordan Nolan to the St. Louis Blues for Ian Cole, Dimitri Yaskin, and a second round pick in 2015. Then the LA Kings trade Jeff Carter to the Buffalo Sabres for Nikita Zadorov, Mikhail Grigorenko, JT Comfort, and a second round pick in 2015. Jonathan Quick and Brady McNabb are traded to the Edmonton Oilers for Taylor Hall and a second round pick in 2015. Dustin Brown is traded to the Minnesota Wild for Charlie Coyle. LA Kings also trade Jake Muzzin and Tanner Pearson to the Washington Capitals for Nate Schmidt and a second round pick in 2017. The LA Kings don't re-sign Marion Gabrick, Jared Stahl, and Justin Williams. Marion Gabrick signs with the Boston Bruins, Colorado Avalanche signed Justin Williams, and the Nashville Predators signed Jared Stahl. There are two major trades that occur at the draft that alter the landscape of the league. The Colorado Avalanche trade Ryan O'Reilly to the Calgary Flames for Michael Backlund, Paul Byron, and a first round pick in 2016. The Oilers don't trade for Griffin Reinhardt, but the Oilers do trade Ryan Nugent Hopkins to the Montreal Canadiens for Lars Eller, Devontae smith Pelly, and a first round pick in 2015. At the 2015 draft, the LA Kings trade pick 13 and 56 to the Colorado Avalanche for pick 10. In the 2015 draft, the LA Kings pick Miko Rantanen with the 10th pick, Sebastian Ajo with the 31st pick, Travis Dermont with the 32nd pick, and Eric Cernak with the 43rd pick. Besides adding Connor McDavid, the Edmonton Oilers also added Matt Barzell and Noah Jolson in the 2015 draft. The Colorado Avalanche selected Kyle Connor and Vince Dunn in the 2015 draft. The Winnipeg Jets like Jacob Zabril with the 17th pick since Kyle Connor is already taken. The Oilers don't sign Andre Sakara in free agency, so Sakara signs with the New Jersey Devils. There are some major changes that occur in the 2015-16 season. Without Taylor Hall, the Devils end with the 6th worst record, but they jump up to the 2nd pick in the draft as they win the draft lottery. The Sabres end up with the 4th pick in the draft, the Winnipeg Jets end up with the 6th pick in the draft, the Edmonton Oilers end up with the 9th pick in the draft, and the Montreal Canadiens end up with the 10th pick in the draft. The Calgary Flames also have a better record, they end up with a 12th pick in the draft. The Colorado Avalanche end up with a 17th pick in the draft, while the Nashville Predators end up with a 21st pick in the draft. At the 2016 draft, Cam Talbot is traded to the Calgary Flames. With Talbot now in Calgary, Ryan Elliott is traded to the Philadelphia Flyers. Changes in the 2016 draft. New Jersey selects Patrick Laine, Buffalo selects Jesse Pujajarvi, Winnipeg selects Matthew Kachuk, Edmonton selects Mikhail Sergeyev, Montreal selects Charlie McAvoy, Detroit selects Dante Fabro, and the Nashville Predators selects Julian Galfier. The Colorado Avalanche select Michael McLeod and Dennis Chalowski in the 2016 draft. The Oilers don't sign Milan Lucic and free agency, so he signs with the Philadelphia Flyers. The Tampa Bay Lightning trade Jonathan Drouin and Andre Schuster to the Winnipeg Jets for Tyler Myers, Joel Armia, and a first round pick in 2017. The Winnipeg Jets trade Matthew Perot and Nick Patan to the LA Kings for Alex Ifolo, Trevor Lewis, and a second round pick in 2017. The Buffalo Sabres trade Jeff Carter to the Arizona Coyotes for Christian Dvorak, Anthony Duclair, and a first round pick in 2017. There are some major changes in the standings after the 2016-2017 season. The LA Kings have a much better record, while the Winnipeg Jets have a much worse record. The Jets end up with a 10th pick in the draft, while the Kings end up with a 20th pick. The Buffalo Sabres plummet in the standings. They end up with a 4th pick in the draft. The Detroit Red Wings and the Florida Panthers both move up a spot in the draft. The Colorado Avalanche end up with an 11th pick of the draft, the St. Louis Blues end up with the 13th pick of the draft, and the Calgary Flames end up with the 14th pick of the draft. The Tampa Bay Lightning make the playoffs and end up with the 16th pick of the draft. Since the Coyotes don't have their first round pick, Derek Stefan isn't traded there. Instead, the New York Rangers trade Derek Stefan and Antti Ranta to the Carolina Hurricanes for Victor Rask and a first round pick in 2017. The Buffalo Sabres end up drafting Cal Maker and Casey Metzelstahl in the 2017 draft. Changes to the 2017 draft. The Detroit Red Wings select Elias Anderson, the Vegas Golden Knights select Michael Rasmussen, the Colorado Avalanche select Gabriel Velarde, the New York Rangers select Martin Neckes, the St. Louis Blues select Callan Foote, the Calgary Flames select Nick Suzuki, the Philadelphia Flyers select Eric Brandstrom, and the Tampa Bay Lightning select Yusuf Alamaki. In the 2017 draft, the LA Kings select Robert Thomas. To avoid losing John Tavares in free agency, the Islanders make a huge trade. The New York Islanders trade John Tavares to the Toronto Maple Leafs for William Nylander, Jake Gardner, and a first round pick in 2018. Then the Islanders trade Jake 
Blake Gardner and Ryan Strom to the Edmonton Oilers for Jordan Eberle, Pontus Aberg, and a second round pick in 2018. A three-team deal is made between the Colorado Avalanche, New York Islanders, and Ottawa Senators. The New York Islanders get Matthew Shane and Frederick Clayson. The Colorado Avalanche get Kyle Turris, Calvin DeHaan, and a first round pick in 2018, as well as a second round pick in 2019. Ottawa Senators get Brock Nelson, Josh Hosang, Duncan Siemens, Patrick Nemeth, and a second round pick in 2019. LA Kings trade Anze Kopitar to the Philadelphia Flyers for Sean Couturier, Robert Hag, a first round pick in 2018, and a second round pick in 2019. Then the Flyers trade Braden Shen and Milan Lucic to the Ottawa Senators for Mark Stone, Zach Smith, and Bobby Ryan. Afterwards, the Ottawa Senators trade Milan Lucic and Nick Paul to the Arizona Coyotes for a third round pick in 2020. Bobby Ryan is bought out by the Philadelphia Flyers and signs with the New York Rangers. During the 2017-18 season, Dion Phaneuf is traded to the Vancouver Canucks for Louis Erickson. With such drastic changes, there's going to be huge changes in the standings. The New Jersey Devils have a slightly better record. They end up with the 10th pick in the draft. The St. Louis Blues drop in the standings and end up with the 14th pick in the draft. The Minnesota Wild end up with the 16th pick in the draft and the Philadelphia Flyers end up with the 17th pick in the draft. The Car Colorado Avalanche have the 19th pick in the draft, while the Edmonton Oilers have the 24th pick in the draft. At the 2018 draft, the Ottawa Senators trade Mike Hoffman to the LA Kings for a second round pick in 2018 and a fourth round pick in 2019. Changes in the 2018 draft. New Jersey selects Evan Bouchard, Calgary selects Oliver Wallstrom, St. Louis selects Ty Smith, Minnesota selects Joe Faraby, LA selects Martin Kaut, Colorado selects Jay O'Brien, and Edmonton selects Philip Johansson. The Colorado Avalanche don't re-sign Kyle Turris, he signs with the Nashville Predators. Philadelphia Flyers don't sign JVR, he signs with the Winnipeg Jets. Montreal Canadiens trade Max Pacioretty to the Detroit Red Wings for Gustav Nyquist in a second round pick in 2019. The Carolina Hurricanes trade Noah Hannafin and Elias Lindholm to the LA Kings for Tyler Toffoli, Derek Forbert, and a first round pick in 2020. Calgary Flames trade Dougie Hamilton and Michael Furlan to the New Jersey Devils for Pavel Zaka, Damon Severson, and a second round pick in 2019. The LA Kings trade Alec Martinez to the Dallas Stars for a second round pick in 2019 and a third round pick in 2020. There are six teams that are most affected by the LA Kings doing a full rebuild in 2015. Those teams are the LA Kings, the Edmonton Oilers, the New Jersey Devils, the Winnipeg Jets, the Philadelphia Flyers, and the Ottawa Centers. The Edmonton Oilers now have a core of Connor McDavid, Leon Dreistel, Matt Barzell, and Jonathan Quick. The Winnipeg Jets now have a core of Blake Wheeler, Mark Shifley, Dustin Bufflin, JVR, Jonathan Drouin, Nikolai Ehlers, and Connor Hellebuck. The New Jersey Devils now have a core of Patrick Liney, Nico Heischer, Travis Zajac, Kyle Palmieri, Dougie Hamilton, and Sammy Vatney. The Philadelphia Flyers now have a core of Claude Giroux, Anze Kopitar, Mark Stone, Wayne Simmons, Travis Konechny, Ivan Provorov, and Shane Gossespierre. The Ottawa Senators are the biggest losers, as they lose Eric Carlson, Matthew Shane, and Mark Stone, and seem to be one of the worst teams in the league. 2018-19 LA Kings lineup. The first line is Taylor Hall, Sebastian Ajo, and Mika Rantanen. The second line is Mike Hoffman, Sean Couturier, and Elias Lindholm. Third line is Matthew Perot, Adrian Kempe, and Charlie Coyle. Fourth line is Robert Thomas, J2 Kumfer, and Nate Thompson. First D pair is Nikita Zadorov and Drew Doughty. Second D pair is Ian Cole and Nate Schmidt. Third D pair is Noah Hannafin and Robert Hag. Goalies are Martin Jones and Jack Campbell. If the LA Kings did a full rebuild in 2015, the landscape of the league would be very different. Next, what if the Chicago Blackhawks traded Jonathan Taves and Brent Seabrook? 